So we're a few months away from the final season of Game of Thrones. I was wondering if you could see into your crystal ball and see what their prediction will be for the final six episodes. Oh man, that is such, that is such a large question. Uh, I think if, what's interesting at this point is they, is they passed the books. Uh, so, so George R. R. Martin isn't completely driving the ship yet. If George R. R. Martin, if we're still operating in the George R. R. Martin's level, I would say everyone would die. Uh, I think now, I feel like since they passed the books, they've kind of clicked into a little bit more of a commercial, like commercially understandable type of a story, which means we're not going to kill everyone we love. Uh, and so, but at the same time, I think they're definitely going to surprise you. It would, it would be, I mean, I definitely think, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, Jon Snow uh, and, and, you know, Daenerys, um, I don't see them long term, I don't see them sur both surviving. Uh, I think it's going to be too easy for Daenerys to get the throne. I don't think they'll do that because if I, I think they're going to try to surprise us with something different. I think that um, I think somebody will get the throne that you don't expect, whether it's Tyrion, whether it's Sansa, uh, something like that will happen, which I think will be unexpected. Um, but it, but I think Jon Snow dies. Uh, I, the, my, my instinct is, is that he dies. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's just like they've, they've left it in such a, such a wide open space that I, I don't know exactly where they're going with it. Uh, I'm notoriously bad for predicting things like this. Uh, and, but they, um, but what got, got me excited, yeah, I, I read recently that they, um, that they're, 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 the battle, the sort of the big battle that they have at the end of the season, uh, they shot for 58 days straight just to do one battle, which makes me more excited than I could ever imagine. So, uh, so whatever it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. Um, I, I, I think, I think, I, I don't think the White Walkers win. I think we're safe. I think I'm safe to say that. I think we beat back the White Walkers in a, in a way that's that's unexpected. Um, but I still think the White Walkers lose. And then I think. How do they pick up the pieces with the Seven Kingdoms? Uh, I'm going to go with the, like the dark horse. Sansa gets the Iron Throne with um, uh, Arya as her hand. With, with either Jon or Daenerys dying, maybe even both. So these are, these are my words, not yours, but are they selling out then? If they've gone past the books and you say that George R.R. R. Martin is not fully driving the, the metaphorical ship, sure. have they sold out? I don't think so. I mean, like, listen, I think if you can make people happy, that is the greatest achievement of an entertainer, like whatever it, whatever it is, is, is there's this competition between, like, between I can either make people happy or, or preserve my artistic integrity. I think if, if, if that is what you're trying to decide between, uh, there's something wrong. Because the point of, of art is to have people experience it in an amazing way. The, the, whole, the whole thing is about not just how do I create, create something, how do I create something that makes other people happy, excited? How do I make people cry? How do I make people feel? That's the point. And so if you make something that people love and they cheer and they're excited about, and like, that's not selling out. That's the point of entertainment. You've entertained them in a way that they're happy. I think doing stuff like The Sopranos, cutting off the end and, and it pisses everybody off, I am not a fan of that. Like I, I get like sort of the, we're gonna let you finish the story in your mind, that whole thing. I get, I, I get all that. But, but at the same time, I look, at, I look at entertainment very similar to entrepreneurship. Like you, you, we, you, you are there to serve something to your fans that, that gives them a, a tremendous experience. And if they walk away pissed off and angry, then you've done something wrong. Not to say they shouldn't walk away challenged. I'm a big fan of like challenging your fan base. I think that's what The Last Jedi did. I think the last ba last Jedi challenged the Star Wars fan base in a good way, um, but but I think if they if I think they'll go and they'll surprise people. I think I think, but at the same time, I don't think they're going to do something weird to where 
you know, they, they, they make it ambiguous. I think it's going to be clear. I don't think it's going to be left up to interpretation. I don't think it's going to be, you know, something unsatisfying and awful that's going to, like, piss everybody off. Like, Joffrey comes back as a White Walker and sits on the throne for the rest of, like, eternity as, like, evil King Joffrey, the dead. I think that would just piss everybody off. I don't think they're going to do anything like that. But at the same time, I think they're going to do something unexpected. So, you know, I don't know. Like, I'm all about Sam Tarly taking the Iron Throne. That's cool. Or maybe they make the Iron Throne insignificant. And, you know, uh, I, I mean, that, I think that would maybe thematically be interesting uh, because I think the, the sort of the soapbox of, the, of, of, the, um, of Game of Thrones is all about, um, hey, as we bicker over here amongst ourselves, there's something come to kill us, coming to kill us all. And so uh, we need to unite and, 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 you know, stand against that. In that respect, eventually, if like the Game of Thrones or the actual Iron Throne becomes of zero importance, thematically may be interesting to where we now, you know, there's not one country or not one place that rules the Seven Kingdoms. It's a different sort of a setup. I don't think they'll do that because I think they only have six episodes. That's like a big restructuring of the story world. But I'm for Samwell Tarly surviving. I'm for I think I think I think Arya will I think Arya will f- finish her list. I think that Jamie is going to kill Cersei. And I think I don't think Jon and Daenerys both survive. I'm going to pick one or the other. And I think Sansa for the Iron Throne. That's my lock-in Super Bowl prediction. <laughs>